All right, so let's talk about Chiari malformation. There are three types of Chiari malformation, type one, two, and three, uh, but for simplicity purpose, I'm gonna just talk about type one today. So patients typically present with a Chiari one malformation in late childhood or early adulthood. The most classic symptoms of a Chiari malformation are headaches. And as you know, headaches are a common complaint that we see. So you can see how this uh, diagnosis can sometimes be missed. It can be accompanied by neck pain, um, trouble with walking, numbness and tingling in their hands, feet, um, and just a barrage of unusual symptoms such as dizziness. It can also have uh, trouble with speech as well. The headaches are cl uh, classically what we call occipital headaches. So it's headaches in the back of the head and then it can be worsened by bearing down or coughing, bearing weight, like having a bowel movement or something like that. So what is a Chiari malformation? This is a picture of a normal brain inside someone's head and then the spinal cord here. And so we're really talking about the cerebellum or the back of the head. The cerebellum is a portion of the brain that's on the back part of the head here. So in a patient with Chiari malformation, the tonsils of the cerebellum or these little portions of the cerebellum at the bottom can kind of hang down a little too low. So normally you have fluid that circulates around the brain and in the brain and it goes down in the spinal canal and circulates back up. When you have a Chiari malformation, this little portion of the tonsils that hangs down can actually obstruct that flow of fluid. When that happens, the fluid cannot circulate properly, so it is forced down sometimes into the spinal cord itself, developing what's called a syrinx. And as you can imagine, with the backup of the flow, it leads to increased intracranial pressure or pressure within the brain itself, leading to the headaches. So we pick up a Chiari malformation or diagnose it by MRI. This is a normal cerebellum. And then here is a cerebellum with Chiari malformation where you can see that this tonsils or that portion of the cerebellum is hanging down lower than expected. When the MRI findings are kind of borderline, sometimes we'll use additional tests such as a cine flow or a spinal fluid flow MRI to see how that spinal fluid circulates around the back part of the brain. Okay, so let's say that we've diagnosed the Chiari malformation. Now, how do we treat it? So in patients that we know are kind of borderline, uh, we may try medications to help manage the flow of the spinal fluid. In surgical cases, we'll do what's called a Chiari decompression. That's the picture of the incision that the patient in the video prior that I showed had. So right on the back of the head, and we can drill off a portion of the bone and sometimes a lamina here to open up the flow.